good afternoon. Um, this is one of these videos where I'll min two mines whether they upload it to the, the World Wide Web. But um and it's very rainy. My hands are very dirty. Um but to go on to the top of the topic of the video, what is grief? Now why my hands are dirty? I've been up in the woods today, um burying my wee cat. Loki, she was uh, eleven, same age as my oldest son. And the relevance with what's going on today, it struck me as I was digging, was that I'm feeling grief for my cat, which I love. I mean, we don't have a, a relationship like you would a human being, but she served her purpose, she killed all the mice, she kept me company. At night she would come and claw my beard every single night, come up and lie in my bed, and lie in my chest and claw my beard. And she was a, a great wee, uh, a wee companion. Um, but over the past few weeks, she's had some sort of problem where she lost a lot of weight. And today we had to take her to the vets to get her put to sleep because she was suffering, suffering a lot. But today, there are human beings suffering and not too far away in local hospitals. People can't have relatives to come and comfort them and hug them as I could hug and kiss and comfort my wee cat over the last couple of weeks. There's people that have had lifelong relationships with family members and friends that are in hospital beds alone and they need that um, human touch, that human comfort. All in the name of uh, spreading a cold. So in the grand scheme of things, I observe it to be quite disgusting that this is a state of affairs that we've allowed society to get into. And I shed a few tears, I ain't gonna lie. I was weeping like a big uh, Jesse 15 minutes ago, giving my, my cat a, a final kiss and cuddle before I put her into the ground to go back to the earth. But there's people that don't don't have that, and like I say, she's my cat and I love her, but she's not a human being. Human beings you have more of a relationship with, and it's just such a shame that people are so afraid of rules and regulations, and that they're enforcing this evil. It's absolutely evil. I couldn't imagine it if, uh, God forbid, that one of the boys or Jennifer became unwell, and I couldn't uh, be tactile and spend the last wee while in their company talking, reminiscing, or even just being there for comfort. Sorry, my water's boiling for my wee tea. I'm going to have a wee cheers to my wee cat. And we'll be able to come up and remember her and all the toe scratches <laughs> and all the attacks from nowhere. And grief, what is grief? Grief is the realisation that all the memories of the toe scratching and the, the meowing to get out for a pee in the middle of the night, there's not going to be any more of these. But along with that comes happiness. Happiness that I've got the memories. There's life eternal. The spirit of my wee cat and the spirit, spirit of people that pass away will always be with you, and they'll always be in the ether and cause an effect, the effect that people have during their lifetimes, ripples out and cascades out, so even with people you don't know, you might do something that affects someone else and indirectly affects someone else, but grief is, um, grief is good because if you didn't have love, you wouldn't have grief. And in a few days, we'll be fine. And every time we think about her, it'll be a happy memory. But grief, grief can only be achieved when you love something. And to love something, you must understand, tolerate, and truly accept something or someone. But yeah, just a short, sharp one today. It's been another day from hell. 
figuratively speaking, not literally. Um, I don't know how, because I have peace. I have peace with my situation. I have peace with the passing of my wee cat. I have peace with the fact that I had to fix my car in the rain again today. But it's up and down. It can't be constant all the time. Then tonight, me and Junior, Johnny Boy Junior, we've got a Taekwondo grading, so hopefully we'll pass that with flying colours and have some good news. But that was my thoughts today on grief. Having grief is a good thing because it means you love something or someone, and that grief can be turned to happiness. But there will be no more memories, new memories, but I'm happy with the ones that I had. Stay blessed, everybody, and a um, quick mention to a, a young guy, young Alan Mitchell. He made a video the other day, a year, of him turning his life around. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a wee um, sniffle. Um, but the guy's been making videos on his YouTube channel for a year, and Alan will admit himself that he was in a bad place a year ago. Uh, homeless. Had a, didn't have direction in life and he's now working, he's looking in the best shape, he's looked in a long, long time, but more than that, he's, his mental attitude is phenomenal. So I just want to say to you, Alan, I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, I'll keep watching you, and best of luck with the journey, because the journey's a, a long way from the end, my friend. God bless everybody, and take care. Bye-bye.